Welcome to Non-Traditional Marketing, a video lecture presented by Ed Grohusky. We talk about different aspects of marketing. We're going to look at today. We're going to look at some different avenues that might be considered as non-traditional marketing avenues um, that marketing is being used in. And so, some of the areas we're going to look at is person marketing, place marketing, cause marketing, event marketing, and organizational marketing. So when we look at person marketing, this is uh, marketing that deals with uh, creating attention or interest geared towards a specific target market that may be um, someone's name attached to a product, celebrity endorsements, or even political candidates. Uh, obviously politics is all about person marketing. You are trying to develop trust uh, to the populace to vote for a person for a specific uh, position. And when we talk about celebrity endorsements, that might be uh, when you're looking at, let's say, having Tiger Woods endorsing Nike Golf. Or uh, one big thing when we talk about celebrity endorsements lately has been the uh, issue of Lance Armstrong. And when we talk about Lance Armstrong as a celebrity endorser, what are some of the challenges that you think a company runs into? when they have a celebrity as an endorser. If something happens negative in that celebrity's life, then their value as an endorser creates an issue, especially when Lance Armstrong becomes tied into or that endorser becomes tied in very synonymously with that brand. And so that person's brand then gets tied into your company's brand. So if that person's brand falls down because of uh, decisions or things that have happened in that person's life that can negatively affect your specific brand. And so if you look at like what happened to Tiger Woods uh, when he was going through his divorce, um, the reasons that he was going through the divorce created a negative cast on him as a person, uh, especially it was kind of against the brand that he had created. And so a lot of the companies that he was he had endorsement deals with wanted to separate themselves from what was going on with him in his personal life because they wanted to protect the image of the brand. And sometimes celebrities attach their name to a product. Uh, one celebrity that's very successful, who was very successful with that was George Foreman with his grill. Uh, obviously, George Foreman didn't come up with the recipe or create the grill. Uh, he used he lent his name to the product. Uh, you see a lot of restaurants. You know, Mike Ditka has his own chain of restaurants. Ryan Braun has his own chain of restaurants, and so they take their name and they attach it to that product. And so we talk about place marketing. This is when a Marketing is being geared towards a location. It could be uh, Wisconsin has a, a tourist campaign, Escape to Wisconsin. And so one big thing of place marketing really ties into dealing with the idea of tourism and getting people to vacation or spend time in a specific area. And two other areas that companies spend uh, place marketing time is recruiting businesses and recruiting employees. Uh, last year there was a big pullout section, might have been a 12 page advertorial in Business Week magazine talking about why businesses would want to move to Alabama. And in there they talked about the quality of the employees, the training that is done, and talked about both if you want a job or if you want to move your business, go to Alabama is the place to do it. Uh, right now, there's a big movement um, with an organization called Milwaukee 7 that the kind of a shoot off of the Milwaukee 7 organization which talks about the seven counties that encompass or that are close to the city of Milwaukee and dealing with this idea of, of what we call a talent divide where there is a identification specific types of jobs that we think businesses would be looking for and recruiting those type of people with those skill sets to the Milwaukee area so then Milwaukee can recruit more businesses and so that is always something that uh, communities are looking at doing obviously the more business structure you have uh, that helps your tax base 
and also then if you bring more employees they're getting paid more money in that area that also will include inc increase a desire of a community to live in it uh, cause marketing uh, this is marketing that's going to be geared towards a specific social in issue a cause uh, you know three examples I show here on the slide number one you know we look at you know like Muscu muscular dystrophy association MDA they obviously they do a telethon every year and they are raising money through the entire year to help support that cause um, one next area to look at is this whole idea of pink marketing where you identified a color with a specific cause and so now pink has been identified with cancer research and so even though you have large organizations like the Susan G. Komen Fund you're seeing a lot of products that are changing their packaging uh, to pink box cereal boxes um, the color of their product is changing and say we're giving us percentage of our sales to cancer research so now when you see that color pink it's identified with that cause and then you have other social issues like rock the vote where you see a lot of celebrities come out to uh, speak on behalf of getting the vote out event marketing this is going to be marketing of uh, sporting or um, cultural activities or charitable activities any type of event that it might be geared towards. A lot of times when you talk about event marketing, we really focus on the sports side of it. And so, you know, a lot of uh, people in event marketing might work for professional sporting teams, uh, the Olympics. Those are all ideas of event marketing. But really, if you're going to get a job in the event marketing field, which is a very growing um, part of the field, and it's a field that I've worked in, you may not be working for a sports team you know there's only 32 football teams there's only so many baseball teams there's only so many hockey teams and you know hockey only plays a full season once every other year it seems like and so there's not a lot of quantity of jobs in those areas so a lot of people in event marketing will end up working for large hotel convention centers where they work on helping plan and execute events you might have work for charitable events like ride for a cure where they're putting on big events where they're bringing people in from large areas you might work for entertainment venue venues like Summerfest or state fair and so there's a big area of jobs that can fall under this area of event marketing and then when we talk about organizational marketing that means we are um, marketing organizations to um, to look at people's goals uh, and really just focus on the overall organization. Sometimes this might be identified uh, as branding. Uh, sometimes we're doing cross promotions with multiple organizations. So you might have um, be pitching um, a uh, farmer uh, farming industry uh, organization to the government and so you might have lobbyists that might do some of that uh, if you look at a lot of different advertisements uh, you'll see that there's different councils the uh, pork what's it's what's for dinner or the other white meat um, beef will have its own um, promotional campaign actually beef is what's for dinner uh, pork is the other white meat where they're really pitching an entire industry versus uh, one specific business within that industry uh, and so that is your form of organizational marketing we talk about relationship marketing uh, this is when we're talking about non-traditional this is really now we're talking about the, really the goal of marketing is to develop relationships with your customers uh, both on a personal and on a non-personal level and so when we talk about relationship marketing what are new ways that we are identifying to develop those relationships mobile marketing is, is, is growing and when we talk about mobile marketing we're talking about identifying how do we use these devices how do we use our cell phones how are we now using tablets now that people are mobile with their computing and how we can get a hold of people how are we using that to our advantage 
and some of that is, is app development, some of that is communication with people, creating tools to make these devices more useful. Uh, interactive marketing, how do we create a technology marketing device that we can customize for the users as they are using it? And then obviously, social networks and social marketing. A lot of times, when we think of social networks, we think of, or think of social marketing, we think of Facebook. Uh, but social marketing is well beyond just that scope of social networks. 